Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to talk about missing transactions. So this might be a bit of a longer video, but hopefully it'll help you with some of these issues you may account encounter. So before we jump into, um, you know, the missing transactions part, you know, I would like to talk about a common issue known as missing purchase history. So both of the articles that I'm talking about in this video can be found in the link below. So this is one of them, I'm gonna go through it. And then this is another one. Um, so if you wanna read up on your own, no problem. I'm following mostly uh, these guides. So if you are watching this video, it is very possible that you received this warning on your screen, missing purchase history for 500 TRX. This happens when you are sending or trading an amount that is higher than your balance at the time of this transaction. Man, I'd wish to have that many TRX. Um, <laughs> it usually means that some prior transaction is missing. So an example of this is if you withdrew or sent 10 Bitcoin from a wallet that has zero balance, then Coinly will show you this kind of error. Naturally, you might ask, how do you fix this issue? Well, it really depends because these warnings mean um, that you have no purchase history for some uh, the coins that you are sending or trading. So Coinly assumes that you got them at no cost or uh, you got them for free. So if you ignore these warnings, you will not be able to deduce any costs and will end up paying on tax on the full amount that you sell um, at a later point. Basically ignoring this can result in more tax. Um, Coinly can show you how much extra tax you'll be paying. So you navigate over to the tax reports page and you can see a message similar to this one. So this is just a screenshot. Um, this is actually the tax reports uh, page on, on my Quinley, but this is just for the demo purposes. This is what the screenshot might look like. You'll have these uh, warnings and it'll tell you approximately how much um, tax extra you will be paying. So in this example, it says we have assumed a cost of zero for some assets that were sold for $61,872. You can reduce your taxes by approximately $7,734 by reviewing these transactions. You may also ignore this warning and submit your taxes with zero um, cost basis. So once again, this is an example where you're more than likely going to be paying more tax if you don't resolve it. Okay, so now if the amount is really low, like insignificant, um, then you can just ignore it and go ahead with your tax report. However, if the amount, like in this example, is quite quite high, it could mean uh, you are missing some really important transactions and you will need to fix them. You might be thinking, hey, I'm actually using the API to import all my data and that's all fine and dandy. However, most of these exchanges do a very poor job of providing you um, access to your historical data via API. So most will not provide access to trades on delisted market pairs, and some only provide access to the last couple of months, which is really annoying, but that's kind of the way it is. Okay, to see the limitations of an exchange, you can do that by following these steps. So let's, the first step is go to the wallet section, pick a um, exchange that you would like to look at. So I'll pick Coinbase, for example. Um, then we're gonna click on the three dots next to the auto sync enabled uh, box. So here we're gonna click edit and then we can see the limitations of the API if there are um, any. So there's an easy way to fix this if you would like. Um, delete the wallet and create a new one with a CSV import option. So um, if we go back, I've actually done that for Binance. Download the CSV files from all trades, deposits, withdrawals from the exchange. If you can't find these files, contact the exchange's support team. Some websites might um, have to make you do that, but that's the way it is. They will be able to send you these um, in most cases. You import these files one by one into Coinly, and then you check and see if these warnings have disappeared. So. Um, for Binance, I've made a video on Binance, I'll leave it in the top right corner, um, how I imported my CSV um, file into Coinly. So if you're interested, give that a look. An optional thing you could do here is set up the auto sync for the exchange again, but make sure to um, make sure the skip history option is enabled so the API doesn't create any duplicate transactions. So if you've done all of this and you still um, have warnings even after you've imported the uh, CSV files, first of all, 
make sure double check to make sure that all these files have been imported sometimes that it takes a bit longer to import as well so keep that in mind um, check the uh, check the date of your oldest trade deposit and withdrawal does it match what you're seeing on the exchange very important some exchanges only show uh data in chunks of three months so i think binance is one of those websites i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure so make sure you are importing all the files and if the warning is showing a missing purchase history for small amounts of let's say 0.000005 BTC, then it could also be a rounding issue. So you can safely ignore that. Okay, so that was the missing purchase history of XYZ. Um, if you know, if you have any questions, obviously leave them down below. I also now would like to jump into the first file which I talked about, which is how to find missing transactions. And one quick note before we jump into this, um, the tax office can't object if you submit a tax report with these errors. Coinly uses zero cost basis for coins that do not have a purchase history. Um, this is what tax authorities recommended as it means you pay tax on the full amount when you sell the coins without deducting any costs. Okay, so let's talk now about this article a bit more. Sometimes the only way to find missing transactions is by comparing the ones you import, uh, imported to Coinly with the ones you see on your exchange. This can be a very time consuming process. If you have lots of transactions, we highly recommend reading the missing purchase history. So that's what I just talked about earlier in the video. I will leave both articles down below. Okay, so the first one is viewing prior transactions. So let's follow the steps. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in my account. I don't have any of these warnings at the moment. Uh, if I have screenshots to share, I will. So let's go through it. Go to the transactions page. Okay, click on the warnings filter and select missing costs. So warnings, missing costs. And here is where you might have um, some missing costs. So this will show you all transactions that are missing purchase history. Next to each transaction is a view uh, prior transactions link. So just to show you what that looks like, I'll, I'll zoom in on this image a little bit. So right here next to um, this missing transaction, um, you'll have this link. Okay, so you can click to see your transaction history for the coin that is missing the purchase history. This will show you all the deposits, withdrawals, trades for the coin, and it makes it easier to follow and compare your transactions for it. So a little tip here, if you have lots of transactions, then you then you should look at prior transactions for the last warning transaction or for a coin that has fewer trades. Also make sure the missing purchase history amount is high. It's easier for it's easier to find uh, the reason for a missing, let's say two Bitcoin transaction than it is for a significantly small Bitcoin transaction. Okay, ledger history. Sometimes you may want to see how your balances have changed uh, after each transaction. Coinly has a page that allows you to do this. So click on the transactions uh, to see more information about it and then click on the ledger tab. So I'll just show you some of the screenshots here. This is what it will look like. Um, Coinly maintains a double entry ledger system for all your transactions. Every change in your asset uh, balances due to this transaction is listed below. Now click on the eye icon. So on this one, it is right. I'll show you guys uh, right here. And let's see, click on the icon next to one of the entries that has a red dot next to it. This will take you to the ledger history page. So I'll show you what that looks like. Here is the image. I, well, I'm taking a screenshot for demo purposes, but you guys might have uh, something similar. That's probably why you're watching this video. So this page will show you every uh, balance change for the coin. And a tip here, if you have access to similar ledger uh, page on your exchange, then you can use it quickly to find um, quickly find the point where the balance on Coinly diverges from the real balance on your exchange. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Hopefully this has helped you find your missing transactions. I will leave this on screen for now if you want to pause the video these are some of the common issues i don't want to make this video too long so if you want to read up a bit more about this you can pause the video or i'll leave a link down down below but if you found this video helpful consider dropping a like subscribing for more crypto content and i'll see you next time peace